sites. <laughs> Thirty-six point five. No, thirty. <laughs> That's in my notes. Um, all right. So grouping object. This is an introduction to collections. So the main things we're going to cover um, collections, especially array list. And, um, <laughs> I think we'll see. I might even bring up some code. I might. Oh, the eclipse here doesn't work. Okay, I'll just fix that too. All right. Um, many applications involve collections of objects, of course. Um, personal organizer, organizers, library catalogs. Um, I mean, this is a pretty small list. I think that every bit of software you ever use has a collection of objects. Almost every bit of software you use has a collection of things. Um, that's kind of the purpose of software is to process data um, in some form or another. Um, the number of items varies. Sometimes items are added, sometimes deleted. Uh, it also, sometimes you don't know, oftentimes you don't know how much data you're going to have. Or how many, when I say data, I just mean items in your collection. So it is difficult at times to have a fixed size, statically sized um, an array like we did in C++ to hold the data. You want to have a dynamically sized list. So one of the, the little sample program we use for chapter four is an organizer for music files. And it's this is like, think of this as a super, super rudimentary and low functionality version of iTunes. Um, that's basically what we're looking at, okay? Except for think about the least amount of functionality possible, and that would be what we have here. So you can add tracks to this. You can add tracks to it. Um, there's no predefined limit. Um, we can tell you, you can look up how many files we have. You can list them all. Um, so, Music Organizer V1. I, maybe I'll put it in Blue Jay. So this is our music organizer class. We have this thing, private array list um, for files, which we set to something. Adding a file is we add a file name to the file. We can say how many files we have. Um, we can find a file out of a particular position. 